Howdy folks, Keith Bowen here. This is Hard Rock University. If you've been uh, watching my videos, you uh, know that I have come to the conclusion that it's really useful at times to be able to hand pan for microfine gold to get a quick idea of what the heck is in the rock. 30 minute turnaround time for assays can really suck under certain conditions. Number one, out in the field when you're doing exploration, it's really nice to get a good idea what the heck you're sampling fairly quickly. It can save you a lot of work. It can get you to move someplace else. Focus on where the interesting stuff really is quickly. The other thing is during a process control situation, you're mining and uh, you want to know real quick where do you send that stuff? Do you send that to the mill? Do you take it to the dump? In either case you want to be able to crush up a small amount of material pretty quickly. In a process control if you're actually grinding it at the mill and it's something like the RC46 you might just take a bucket over and give it a shot. If that's not practical I have a solution. A lot of people have one of these. This is a stainless, well not stainless, it's a steel mortar and pestle and they work fine for crushing up small quantities of rock, emphasis on the word small. They work okay for samples on the order of a couple of grams, but it gets really old really fast. So I came up with what I call the Mad Max Mortar and Pestle. Now that's a pestle. That's a, a mortar. Anyhow, I went to the steel store around here. It's Industrial Metal Supply. I bought this ball. It is a solid steel ball. And welded a piece of pipe to it. Inside the mortar there's actually a hemispherical steel piece here. It's the cap for a pipe. Let's say you were, you were putting pipes in concrete to form a barrier and you want to have a nice top to it. They make these nice formed steel caps. And what I did was get one that fits that ball. And the problem was they didn't have the right size steel for me. I needed three and a quarter inch pipe and all they had was three and three and a half. So rather than wait around or go shopping, I just split it and changed it. Welded in the little hemispherical part and then welded it all to a square base. This is three sixteenths and looking at it, wouldn't hurt to go quarter. Now, Ahead and pan down. Here's a fairly decent sized rock. And what you do, put it in there and you pound it. A lot of people think you wait, you grind stuff with a mortar and pestle is like this. That works fine on cardamom. It doesn't work well on rock. This gives you smaller rocks but it's not powder. Now you can't really get powder with this much because it's going to crush down to the size of the layer that you have in there because after that the fines fill the spaces and it all just stops grinding. So what you want to do is then take a smaller quantity, put it in here, give it a few whacks, shake it to get the rocks in the middle again, And now we have a fairly fine powder. If you want it finer, you can just beat it up a little more. And it comes out even finer. Now, because I'm lazy whenever possible, and I have a Hilti, in some situations I might have it with me. I put a steel bar inside this pipe. I actually welded the steel bar to the uh, ball first, put the pipe on and then welded it. That's so I can take some rock, put it in there, uh, keep it focused down Gonzo. do 
that. And that gives me pretty good powder pretty easily. Now, doing that, you should be able to get enough for a sample in just a couple of minutes, and then do your hand panning. All I did was I took a worn out bit I had, the chisel bit was worn back to almost nothing, just cut it off with a chop saw. By doing that, you don't affect the steel, you don't need to heat treat it, nothing like that. And it just fits to where it doesn't hit the chuck. So, that's all there is to it. Piece of pipe, piece of bar stock, a ball, plate, pipe, and end cap, and about a half hour with a welder if you know what you're doing. You get a pretty powerful welder, stick welder or something, or a really big MIG, because that's some pretty heavy steel. But that is the Mad Max mortar and pestle, and it's good for crushing small quantities of rock for sampling and such in the field, and also, I guess, taking out a charging grizzly bear if you're really good. But uh, anyhow, it's about eight and a half pounds. That's what it is, that's what it does, that's the niche it's designed for. Happy prospecting, and keep it safe out there.